Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and we're going to talk about, oh, I'm going to read this article article by Screen Rant saying that Donatello's death turned him into the TMNT's version of a Transformer. Now, I have no idea what they're talking about. The only thing that comes to mind that comes close to Donatello being a Transformer is in this comic book called uh uh the Ninja Turtles or something like that called Ninja Turtles Urban Legends and it's this book which I don't know how well you guys can see with the glare but you see how uh I believe this is Michelangelo yeah this is Michelangelo this is Leonardo this is Raphael which has a hockey mask because part of his face blew up in this and then Donatello hold on there we go. And then Donatello, he gets to turn into a uh, cyborg looking creature. So I'm guessing, from my knowledge, which I have yet to do like a review of this uh, comic, but I will in parts. Just keep tuned. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm i guessing this is what they meant by Donatello being a Transformer. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, let's read to see what they actually meant by Donatello's death turned him into the Ninja Turtles version of the Transformer. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are a team of iconic heroes who have been able to beat per practically every villain they've come across. But that doesn't mean that there isn't room to, to improve. And Donatello got a massive upgrade that essentially turned him into a TMNT for TMNT's Transformer, though it did come cost him his life, sorta. Of. Um, Donatello is one of the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which also includes Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Originally, he and his brothers were mutated turtles who were raised. By martial arts master and mutant rat Splinter, with a mission of using ninjutsu to protect the innocent from the evil Foot Clan and any other villainous team that popped up in New York City. However, during one mission where the turtles were trying to take down both Krang, Mister and Krang, in one brilliant maneuver, it seemed that villains they were going up against were a bit too much for them to handle, and Donatello was effectively killed as a result. Um, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 48 by Kevin Eastman, Tom Moss, and Corey Smith, the Turtles are being attacked by the army of Baxter Stockman Smelchers, though Donatello proves that the deadly robots are nothing compared to his technological upgrades. In a previous issue, Donatello was beaten to death by a beep up and rock steady after Shredder found out that the Turtles used him to battle Krang. A maneuver that ended with Krang defeated and Shredder being determinately weakened. With Donatello's body was discovered, the Turtles and their scientist friend, Harold and the Fugitoid. I don't know why my. I'm sorry if, like. Did my screen blacked out on you guys and it did for me or it's weird. Anywho. Uh when Donatello's spy was discovered, the turtles and their scientist friends Harold and the Fugitoid were able to save his consciousness by inputting by input hit it into the Android metalhead. While Donatello's body healed, his mind was able to live through on through the robot. And it came with a lot of perks. So, Donatello became Metalhead? Ooh, that's cool. So, clearly it wasn't with this book. It wasn't with this book, then. But, still, that's pretty cool. When Donatello Robo Upgrade make, makes... How Donatello's Robo Upgrade makes him Team T's Transformer. As shown in Team T number 48, during the Turtles against... Turtles battle against Baxter Stockman. Baxter's against ba Stockman's Mousers, Donatello gained a number of deadly abilities upon his possession of Metalhead. With this ability, Donatello, Donatello was able to turn his arms into cannons, 
with a visor that acted as an eye, as his eyes, with laser cap capabilities. Plus, Donatello was able to literally transform into a number of different vehicles, including a four-wheeled Alterian vehicle and a space boat. Not only that, but Donatello was able to take in and comprehend vast amounts of information, which only made the already brilliant Ninja Turtle even more intelligent. Um, since Donatello was able to transform into more oh, into more than one vehicle while having a number of incredibly deadly attack options built into his robot body, as well as possessing the intelligent intellect of the scientist of the Sentinel supercomputer, it may even be fair to say that Donatello was more than just TMT's first on the Transformer, but a warrior whose power and intelligence surpassed the average Transformer. While the claim is one that can be argued, what isn't in dispute are the specifics of Donatello's upgrade itself, and how his death temporarily or otherwise turned him into a teenage mentioned his thrills version of a Transformer. So it did say that his body healed? So does that mean that if Donatello didn't get his mind put into a uh, metalhead, then Donatello would have been in a coma? And would that make him, um, and would that, like, yeah, would that make him be in a coma? Which I know, like, in some cases, I'm, um, this might be a dramatic example, but in some cases, comatose state, uh, patients don't always make it. But Donatello could have easily survived. So, I don't know. There was a chance that Donatello could have survived. It would take him months to do rehab. I don't know. But the fact that Donatello could, was in Metalhead's mind, or brain was transferred into Metalhead, and he essentially became more of a badass Ninja Turtle, is so cool. It's so cool. And don't get me wrong, this version, I haven't read the entire thing yet. And this, uh, I think, uh... I think this is volume number three of the Urban Lenses. I don't know. But, um. I'm not saying that this Donatello is saying badass, guys. I'm pretty sure he's badass. Guess he. Well, I guess now, because, yeah. Now I think about it, this person, Donatello, is more like a cyborg. Nevertheless. Seeing Donatello as Metalhead would be a cool concept, and one that I would. So love to see, and just, I'm I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. But uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will have this article as a pin or uh, com uh like as a pin comment down below. So if you guys want to read this, you guys can. But with that said, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and I'll talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.